Well, I hope you enjoyed that start to finish process of this uh, country Christmas garland. You know, Renee is continually putting out a uh, new product. And in my last uh, design team kit that I received, uh, this particular piece was sent. And this is new product, new beautiful board product. And these are explosion boxes slash kind of um, ornament gift boxes. There's lots of varieties that you can do with these and I originally was just, I loved it, but it was like I, w I just wanted to do something different with it, but I didn't have any idea yet. So I was like, well, I'll at least show like a new product video, you know, maybe show a couple of new pieces, show how to put this box together. Um, and I was in the middle of doing Christmas garland for uh, Christmas craft bazaars coming up and I'm like, oh, you know, that box is really not that big and if I use a couple of larger pieces to go with it I think I can make it work on a garland and I did and I think it turned out pretty cool and it works perfectly. This box actually only measures about seven inches tall and then it's about three and a quarter inches wide and these are perfect. Renee made them in mind so that they could be used for as I said like an explosion box like uh, made uh, as like an ornament to hang on your tree they can be made for like a gift box she made them with kind of um, a few different inserts so there's different ones you can get with little inserts and at the end after I explain all uh, what I used on this product if you want to stick around for a few minutes I am going to show you some new product that Renee put in store and then show you a couple of pieces of this um, explosion box and go into a little bit more detail with it so it worked perfectly it was a nice size to put on this garland and make it a nice country Christmas garland and you saw me start out with um, you know I cut some really cute uh, plaid paper, red pa red plaid and a green pra plaid to fit the inside and outside of the solid pieces of the box, a couple pieces on the lids, uh, front and back, sewed around the edges, distressed the edges, inked them a little bit, and then also on, oops, let me take this out, I've got just a little tea light in there so it looks really cute at night lit up, just a little tea light from Dollar Tree. Um, also on the front of the box, on the front, on the lid, on the front door, let me say, and then on the lid on the front and back, I um, wanted it to be the same color, but I didn't just want it to be flat. So I went ahead and embossed it with just um, a kind of a, oh, like a vintage white color. I think it's called, let me look, it's from Recollections. It's just called Snow. The shade is just called Snow. Um, and so that just gave it this little bit of texture, uh, you know, and then allowed the decoration and stuff of the box to come out. So it just made it just, just really neat and, um, country looking. And I did not use the centerpieces that come with the explosions. The explosion boxes, there's a couple of different ways that these boxes come actually. I'll just go into it a little bit. There's centerpieces that is like a little rocking horse that can fit inside or a carousel or a ballerina. There's also one for baby's first Christmas, which looks like a little cute little baby buggy. I happen to use the one for the ballerina. Let me just show you the piece that actually can go in the center. There's another little like cross bottom piece here. This slides into this little, little notch and then this whole piece fits down into some notches in the bottom of the box and like I said at the end of the video I'll show you another box. Um, so this is actually the little ballerina that came with it and then I also have um, the little carousel horse. Really cute and you can see how tiny the little pieces are and you could totally paint these up and decorate them. The design team has been doing some just wonderful um, quality work with these. I've just never seen so many different visions come out of using, you know, one piece and it's just really awesome to see. So these are a couple of um, examples of some of the explosion box centerpieces that you can get. Okay. 
So let's come back that to the end. So papered it and everything, embossed it, and then I used a little piece inside. You can see that it says a very Merry Christmas there. Um, this is a beautiful board piece, and of course Renee has it in her shop. And I'm looking over here for just a second because I wanted to see, I wrote, this is the small size. Yeah, I wanted to make sure what size I wrote in it. So cute and cut out, and I only have one to show you, so... Um, and that's what's in the box and there you can see it just like that a very Merry Christmas it is all one piece and then I put a little heart on top which of course will be hard to see let me see if I can get my light in there there it is see the little heart on top uh, the little heart came out of a snowflake set uh, that I used some of the snowflakes on this project so I just embossed a little heart on top and put it at the top of the tree Okay, and then inside I just placed some little flowers for my stash and I just placed them right there so that when this tea light candles is inside, it fits just perfectly between the flowers and the front of this box so that it doesn't slide around. So that's why I kind of just placed those flowers kind of strategically there. And then I added a little bit of bling here right on top. I added a cute little uh, Renee Bouquet's uh, mulberry flower here. These actually come in a set of 14. They are the Christmas flower set. They're in winter white, these little uh, poinsettias. They come with poinsettias, and they come with curly roses, and they come with some little holly leaves. Really cute. So I used one of the poinsettias out of that. And then I tucked in um, a... Uh, beautiful board snowflake here this is actually out of the um, snowflakes it's a set of six winter snowflakes let me show you I've got them here over to the side okay so it's a set of six so you get three of these and three of these and this of course just kind of fits right on top of the snowflake so I use kind of the little this one out of that set kind of tucked it right in there I put a little jingle bell there jingle bell there and then just a little flower uh, from my stash right there okay and let's just kind of move down the line um, on both sides of let me bring this camera up on this being a garland I know is going to be so hard to see but I do have pictures they will be on my blog I will try to remember to insert a picture here just kind of a one picture of the full garland hanging and then there will be more close-up photos like on my blog and also on Renee Bouquet's blog so So on either side of this garland, I bought some of these sliced wood pieces, and then I added some of Renee Bouquet's beautiful board. Uh, these are snowflakes, of course, and they are called Linda's Love Flakes. I know, right? Renee made these with me and mine because she knows I love all things romantic, and they have little heart cutouts. Let me go ahead and bring this back down and show you. Little heart cutouts aren't these so pretty and then one of the little hearts I put on top these are the little hearts I was talking about that I put inside the box on top of that uh, very merry Christmas die cut they come with three of these snowflakes okay a small a medium and a large and then they come with six little hearts okay isn't that adorable? Look how 3D you can get with these things. And I didn't do, oh, on the snowflakes, yes, I'm looking down. I went ahead and embossed them just like I did on uh, the um, centerpiece so that it all would kind of match. And I embossed the little hearts, too, with, like, Tim Holtz Distressed uh, Embossing Powder. It's real pretty kind of green. It kind of matched the paper really nicely. So that's what I did on both pieces of the little wood slices. And then as you come out to the next two pieces, I had these metal snowflakes, let me pull in and over here, um, that I attached to the garland. And then again, I used those little center pieces right there uh, that I used just like on the little house right here. And those were out of those, um, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, the six piece, the set of six winter snowflakes is what they were called. I just used those center pieces again. And remember the winter snowflakes, you'll get, where'd I put that? Yeah. Let me grab it over here. It's a set of six, so you'll get three of these and three of these. Okay, and so I used this part again 
on those little metal um, snowflakes there. Just a nice way to kind of add texture. Okay, and then as we come out to the sides, I, uh, let me bring this up again, hard to show you guys, I'm really sorry, hard to show these, you know, on a garland, a <laughs> five foot long garland almost. Um, I wanted something that kind of offset the size of the box, and um, I don't know what made me think of it, but all of a sudden I'm like, I think I was looking through some of my projects that I was still had left to do and ornaments was on the list you know I wanted to fill some ornaments and um, I was like hey I wonder if an ornament would work but I knew I had some flat ones these are flat ones that my cousin had given to me and I thought those would be perfect because they wouldn't be too bulky and they would look nice with the size of this explosion box so I used these flat uh, ornaments they are glass I what I did is I wanted the inside to look like little snowballs of course um, and then I went ahead and used a it's a three inch circle punch and I cut a kind of a really pretty kind of tan polka dot paper to put on the outside and the little snowflakes here of course are from Renee's shop they're seven piece vintage snowflake sets these are in uh, small and I glued them to the outside of the ornament and then I laid the paper um, glued that behind the snowflakes okay so the snowflakes and the paper are sitting on the outside of the ornament so that on the inside because I wanted to like I said put like little snowballs in there so I use those little um, puffy balls on the inside and I didn't want them getting caught on the snowflakes so that was my intention of why I put the snowflakes on the outside and then I added my little uh, salt and glitter mixture so it looks like just some little freestanding uh, snow inside and then every time you know this gets shaken you know that snow will kind of go onto the little puffy balls and inside the little you can see all the little uh, pieces inside the ornament and then on top I wanted to just put a couple of uh, printed board pieces from Renee's shop this is one of my favorite ones really cute um, printed board piece and she is a Victorian winter is what she is called Victorian winter and she comes in different colors and I am using her in winter white okay there's like a winter white a regular white I think a pink and a blue like the coat and the hat would be in those colors and I just I just love her little you know uh, hat or a coat she's wearing and her little boots that button up to the side looks very Victorian you know thusly named Victorian winter they come in a set of two right and left facing so I glued her to the front of that ornament okay and then on the other side I did the same exact thing um, same exact paper behind the same exact um, uh, beautiful board vintage snowflakes behind there um, those come in a seven piece set I think I said the little puff balls the little you know salt and glitter inside but on the front of this one this is called Christmas Carol C-A-R-O-L Carol like her name is Carol really cute she's about three inches tall they come in a set of two right and left facing just gorgeous Christmas Carol she is so cute and I just thought that went in really nicely both of these with the country look of you know this complete garland here and the explosion box and everything I just thought looked really cool calling it explosion box but it also is a gift box or ornament box um, anyway so those fit in really nicely with that okay and then I just kind of repeated the process a little bit after those ornaments back again are the um, metal snowflakes with some more of the beautiful board snowflakes on top okay and then I come back again with the wood slices now these wood slices have the uh, winter snowflakes on them and then I use the little hearts off of the um, Linda's love flakes in the center of these okay and then I think we're just about down near the end um, and I think I rounded out the ensemble with a couple of just large jingle bells from my stash kind of a goldish platinum kind of look almost like a rose gold but it's not pinkish looking but it kind of reminds me of that 
um, and then I come out to the very end and I added just some like burlap bows okay and then across the very top of the garland I had used two twine you saw me put two twine together two pieces of long twine like I said it was a little over five feet uh, when I measured I just kind of um, you know measured um, up to my height which is you know a nice tall five foot two um, <laughs> um, and then and then just kind of looped the two pieces together to make a big loop on the end so that the garlands could be hung okay and then over the top of that once I did both ends of that you saw me add like this little cute uh, little pom-pom garland to kind of simulate snowflakes because of the snowflakes and stuff you know um, on the um, ornaments and the wood slices etc and then I added just some different twines and stuff to hold everything in place like over the bells I added like a really cute red twine I got from uh, Dollar Tree I added some kind of plaid fabric um, that's just real uh, real close in color match to it's a little bit darker but close color match to the uh, paper on the box so I added a couple pieces actually about six six um, pieces of that distress the edges a little bit and just kind of tied it right on there over like the wood slices I've got a little tan colored uh, bow that I tied over the top some of the um, pieces like over the metal snowflakes I just tied extra twine um, over the ornaments this is just some uh, trim in my stash just some crochet trim in my stash let's see over the top of the box when I closed the box together I just added twine through the two handles of the box to tie to the top um, and I used um, some of that again that red twine and a little bit of that crochet thread from my stash again and just kinda repeated that process all the way down which made this super cute Christmas country garland or country Christmas garland however I'm gonna title this video okay so I hope you enjoyed and this looks really cute with the little you know tea light lit up but I hope you enjoyed the process of this video so I am going to kind of stop this part now so if you're done and don't want to watch any further and I'm gonna kind of bring out some new uh, products since we're coming into the holidays and such uh, that Renee has put in her shop and show you a little bit you know with the explosion box or ornament box or gift box slash 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 how to kind of put that together very easily it's just as easy as you saw in the fast forward okay so so give me one moment okay let's just start with some of the cute printed board pieces that Renee has come out with um, this first one is called um, little cowgirl and she is on a rocking horse would be super cute in any kind of Christmas uh, themed project the one that I have here they all of these come in a set of two and this one is the large size let me put it in the palm of my hand so that you can see it okay so little cowgirl alright this next one is of course like I said a set of two this is the tea with me die cut set aren't these adorable tea with me um, and they these this is the tiny size this comes out of the garden party line but I had to show you because they were adorable I know it's not really Christmassy but you could put these on a cute little Christmas uh, vintage theme project if you wanted but let me bring my camera down so you can see look at the adorable expressions tea with me and I know somebody that is just going to go nuts over these and I'm sure you know who I'm talking about um, tea with me super cute look at just I mean just the detailing on these is gorgeous like I said two piece set so you get one of each of these okay and this is in the tiny this is the tiny set okay so you can see it in the palm of my hand so all right and they all these come in multiple sizes okay let me bring my camera back out never remember which way I go okay so tea with me this one which I'm going to be using on my next project this is Christmas joy isn't she just adorable Christmas joy and this is the small size 
I mean, she is adorable. So yes, my next design team project will have her on it. I love her. I love the expression on her face. She's holding handfuls of presents. I just love it. Or it must, you know, like a wind blow come or, you know, jackets up or hair is flying. You know, maybe a little wind gust came by. She's trying to hang on to all her presents with her little mittens on. I mean, just super adorable. Her face is just gorgeous. Okay, so small size right here. Again, a set of two. This is Snow Baby Blossom. Isn't she cute? Snow Baby Blossom. She's got like a little, her scarf has got like a little fur on it, and there's a little bit of fur coming out of her sleeves and at the bottom of her um, coat there. I mean, just adorable little umbrella. I mean, so cute. Snow Baby Blossom, and this is the large size. Okay, and then the last one I want to show you, this is Snow Baby Bunny. Isn't she adorable? Look at the colors on that. So super cute. The little, you know, buttoned up vintage boots. I mean, just super sweet. Love the little hat and oh my gosh, the little, you know, ribbon from the hat tied up underneath her neck. So adorable. Snow Baby Bunny. This is in the tiny size that I'm holding right here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a couple of those. Um, I know we're coming into fall, so I wanted to kind of show you. These come in a set of two. They are fancy fall corners. Okay, just regular beautiful board die cuts. These are the small size fancy fall corners. Okay, set of two. Real pretty. I love these. Okay, and then I have another... Um, fall pieces here. These come in a set of 23 and they are fancy fall tuck-ins and you get quite a few of each little design. Okay, fancy fall tuck-ins. You get some different leaf options. So that's always nice to work with. You can use that in anything. You get a couple of acorn designs. Super, super cute. Um, you even get some ears of corn. You get one of these in the set of all these, and like I said, it's a set of 23, all these cute different fall elements tuck-ins, because these are so cute to tuck in behind flowers or behind any of your projects, just super cute. Love the acorn, I mean, just cute. The ears of corn, oh my gosh, cute. So fancy fall tuck-ins, so let me grab these and get them out of the way. Okay. And I've got a few little Christmas accent things here for you. Oh. This is a decorative scroll Christmas flourish ornament. Really cute. I mean, you've got these real cute decorative scroll on top. And then just, you have to be really careful with them, you know, because they are very intricately cut. But the little ornaments hanging from them are adorable. Just adorable with the little bow accents on them. The ornaments have little accented designs on them. Cute. And I know Renee has other little uh, beautiful board die cuts that are just ornaments that you could get. Um, some other things done with ornaments. But I just think this is super cute. So I wanted to show you that. Okay. Um, I wanted to... Oh, here it is over here. This is a candy cameo frame. Let me grab it out. It's in the small, new release, Candy Cameo Frame. Okay. What's really neat about this, Renee has put also in her shop some new flat back pearls in different colors. And these are made to go with those flat back pearls. Okay. She made it with those pearls in mind, so you actually have a place to adhere those to. Okay. So this is the Candy Cameo Frame. This is in a small. Okay, and then I have here, it's a set of four Candy Cameo Flourish set. Okay, again in the small size. So you get two of these. Okay, again made with the little flat back pearls in mind. And then two of these. Aren't those adorable? Aren't those going to be fun? And even if you didn't want to use the flat back pearls, I just love the decorative accent of the circle there. These are going to be so cute tucked in things. I mean, just adorable. I'm going to love these because I am a sucker for swirls, so I love these. Can't wait to work with them. Again, these are in the small. Okay, so let me get these out the side. This other one is so fun. 
can't wait to show you it. This is the shabby Christmas tree with holes. And there's a reason for the holes. Renee designed this in mind to go with her uh, beautiful beads iridescent pearls. Okay, which are these. And she does make, you know, like red and things like that. There's different curl, uh, colors in her set of these pearls. They're iridescent like two-tone uh, colors. This one happens to be a pink and a brown. Okay, no, it's not a Christmassy color, but it's the quickest one I could grab out of my stash here. Um, and there's different sizes to match the different of holes to match the different sizes of the pearls. But like this is the large size, so that you could put the larger pearls in the small, the medium size. And so if you get like the red ones, I mean, how super cute their ornaments on your tree super cute idea so this is the shabby Christmas tree with holes it's about six and a quarter inches tall okay about six and a quarter inches tall it's a nice large she even left a spot right up here so that you could put a little bead right up at the top really cute with I mean and you wouldn't even have to put the beads if you didn't want to you could put like design paper behind it and it would kind of show through there really nicely so super cute super cute idea um, and then I just wanted to remind you of some of the snowflakes. We talked on my project um, about these snowflakes, which are the set of six winter snowflakes. So I wanted to remind you of those. And then we, of course, discussed uh, Linda's love flakes, okay, which are these. So she's got lots of different styles of snowflakes. Uh, in which are just gorgeous so and they come with the little hearts and then of course don't forget this is one of my favorite is the seven piece um, the snowflake sets okay the vintage snowflake sets and they come all with a different um, design in the set okay and then she also has them in the beautiful bit so they are the freaking tiniest little snowflakes ever okay so I wanted to show you those. Don't forget your snowflakes when you go to uh, shop in Renee's stores, um, Etsy or .com. These look super cute on anything. Okay, lastly, let's talk about this explosion slash gift box, box slash ornament box. Okay, um, they come in four different themes for the center. These are the ones that have the little centers to them, the little center ornaments, okay? I have the carousel as I showed you. I have the ballerina. There is a um, baby's first Christmas that looks like a little baby buggy, and then there's a rocking horse, okay? So those are the four styles for centerpieces. Very easy to put together. I apologize, I am missing a little piece. I misplaced it, I don't know where it is. Both my little pieces cannot find them. Okay, so what will happen is you can see these little uh, notches in the bottom of the box, okay? There's a little piece that looks very similar to this, okay, that you will get, very similar to that bottom piece, okay? It has little notches like this. This, and it goes, it'll be like this direction, slides right over the top of that little piece, and then both of those slide right into this okay just like that just pop right in so see you'll have that other little piece right here and right here and then your little center right there okay and then these have really awesome little um, kind of corrugated type pieces there little scored pieces a little bit decorative so that's kind of nice so that you can bring your box up like this you can choose to glue the sides if you want if you're going to do explosion box you might not want to do that but if you're going to make like an ornament or like I'd put on my garland I didn't put glue on there either because I knew that once I pulled the handles up it would hold it all together but you can choose to glue it but see how it just pops right open just really cool for like an ornament or a gift box someone pulls the top off and slides right open their gift is in the center so really cool and then you've got this piece again with kind of that corrugated so that it moves okay now you can place this this way so that this is your front this is your front it's your options okay so what you do kind of you have these sides pulled up take this and set it right in the center of that and then you take both handles and then you just pull it right up just like that okay and then you've got your gift box and just pull it up a little bit more like this just kind of pull it up till it slides into um, position 
There we go. Got caught on a little piece there so that your little ornament shows through. Okay, easy like that. And then you can use a little ribbon or something at the top for closure. Super cute. Now these boxes come in some different options. Okay, and I'm talking options for windows. All right, let me take my little ballerina out. All right. This is one option right here. So you have one window and three solid sides. Okay, so that's one option. Your second option is you can have two windows. So you have a window here and direct opposite a window and then two sides. So you can view from each side through a window and then your two solid sides. Okay, so that's the option the way those come along. There's also an explosion board kit. Okay, which is really cool. And let me find it. It is a called a decoration kit. It has 15 pieces. Let me bring it up on my iPad here just so I can show you. Basically what you're going to get is um, all the pieces to kind of go together and you're going to get some extra little decorative pieces that match these that you can decorate with. Let me bring this right up and then you'll get some little, um, like see how this window is here? You'll get some little almost like frame pieces that come around so you can kind of make it like a 3D. Let me try to do it without a bunch of, there we go, a bunch of um, shine from the light bulb above. Okay, so you get your sides, you get some front windows, you get the little frame pieces, okay, you get the extra little decorative pieces. So this is a 15 piece kit so that you could kind of make your own um, there it's a little bit closer kind of make your own style box make it really 3d really cool you can see how it kind of comes together 3d you've got that little frame that kind of goes in the center to really kind of 3d this out so if you just check on the website shows you how to slide everything together okay so that is the decorative box and then the other um, one that she has it's just kind of a real plain uh, box okay so you'll get this piece all right four solid sides no window in it and then the bottom is completely solid okay this is going to be more nicer for your explosion box if you want to use it that way so four solid sides and a solid bottom and then the top piece comes like this all right same design but it just does not have the little decorative element on each side it's more of a solid uh, piece here and a solid piece here okay so that's the other way that the um, explosion box comes okay so I hope you enjoyed looking through all these new product with me I hope you enjoyed my uh, country Christmas garland alright I will have all the links down to everything Renee Bouquets and I will have the products links of the uh, pieces that I used in my garland down below for you. I'll have those links. I will also have the links to all my social media, you know, so come follow me on Pinterest, on Instagram. Um, come follow me on my blog if you just love blogs, okay? Um, if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you along. Um, you can also hit the notification bell if you want to make sure you don't miss any new videos that I put out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.